Welcome back to Underrated Movies. I'm your guy and I'm your man, Mr. Alton Henry. And today I'm going to talk to you about another film. No Tears for the Dead. I'm going to just put the cast members' names here. Uh, it's a story about a hitman named Gone who mistakenly murders a youngster <clears throat> during a mission. And he's filled with regret. Now, he has to clean up the loose ends, which is potentially, in other words, uh, the child's mother. But since he refuses to uh, take her out, they have a, they send in a bunch of assassins from the same organizations that Gone Works, try to take her down, and he tries to save her life to atone for the sins he's done of accidentally murdering her, um, her uh, yeah, kid. Um, South Korean action thriller story. Similar to the film Memory. I, I know this film right here is almost a decade old now. And um, man, when did I get this movie? Dang, how did I? I think I had it for like maybe six or seven years now. Uh, it was just like it was. It was one of those scenarios where I was kind of just edging for something international, and I didn't have Netflix at the time, so I just bought this. Saw the trailer a while back on YouTube, bought it. It was pretty good. It was pretty good. This is not really an action-heavy film. This is more a drama, and I actually like that South Korean films. When they do action, I mean, there there are some of them they do like action comedies, and, I, and you know some of them are good. Uh, well, actually, they're pretty impressive. But when they do like serious action films, they they go to the core of serious action thrillers. I mean, that you like you get like a play, like a dramatic movie with action in it. Similar, and this is actually the same director who did a uh, the Man from Nowhere, which is also a good film, which I highly recommend for uh, anybody to, who hasn't seen that. Which I think that's available on Tubi for anybody who's curious to check that out. Um, this actor, I believe he was in the film The Warrior's Way, another underrated gem. Um, he plays the assassin Gong, who, uh, I wouldn't say he's egotistical, that, that's not the right word, but he, he's a guy who's very good at his job, and he accidentally murders a kid, where I feel like he's, I feel like he's a character that's, that, that gets very annoyed for any dilemmas, unforeseen dilemmas, that just kind of hits his way, and he'll just get agitated, like, just stressful, and then he'll just handle it, if you know what I mean. Well, he accidentally takes the life of a innocent bystander, and it traumatizes him. And you see that. You see, you you see that. You see that internal struggle that he that he goes. So he is given a mission to clean up the aftermath, which is the mother, who had no involvement whatsoever. Um, originally his target was the father, but the girl just happened to be there. He witnesses the trauma that he's that he's put upon the woman, um, and he sees the damage he's done, which kind of reflects him a little bit on his past when he goes back to uh, Korea. The movie starts in America, but he goes back to Korea to uh, to uh, determine whether or not to take the life of this uh, the life of this woman. He becomes very interested in her, but it also reminds it also reminds uh, her, he also gets reminded about the struggle that he had when he was living with his mom and the struggles that she faced trying to basically survive. And somehow he develops a connection uh, to her, which without any personal connections, but he feels extremely sorry for the woman. 
and then to the point where he decides not to really go away with it. Uh, you see that he tries to protect her once the um, once his organization tries to, uh, you know, complete the mission that Gon decide, uh, refuses to do. And uh, the action scenes in here are great. They're bloody. They're bloody. They're it's 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 like really cool. Like it's like each action scene they improve it than than the bet than the last, which I really like. And uh, my favorite action scene from this film. It's probably the apartment scene where Gong comes in and and takes out the uh, he, he takes out I think he takes out these uh, undercover gangsters that um, that that pretend to be police officers or undercover police officers and he like slices them up with a knife and then you have two other assassins which his teammates try to take him out and he escapes uh, with the woman. Um, well, he guides her out and escapes, uh, guides her out. And I actually like it that when, <clears throat> when you see her, when she, um, the uh, mom, when she is given hope that she could potentially figure out who the uh, person was that took her daughter's life. She becomes a bit, I think her, her character comes a bit stronger than, than what she was during, um, earlier in the film, where she plays pretty much a um, hopeless character. I mean, yeah, she, her, I mean, she, she pretty much lost a kid in the film. Um, to the point where she almost commits to, well, she commits suicide, but it fails. Um, I'm trying to remember that one actor. Oh, yeah, I can see that one of the actors that played Assassins was in um, Wolverine. And I wonder what other roles he was in. Uh, honestly, I don't particularly have faults with this film at all. I think this is a really good action film. I think it's one that probably should have gotten more recognition. Just, I mean, the movie doesn't do anything new, but I think just as a story, just as an action film, you rarely get dramatic action films like this. Um, only in South Korea, but here in, in, in the U.S., it's a it's a formula that seems to disappear. I think the last film, the last like serious thriller action like this, was probably Triple Frontier, a Netflix original, which I reviewed that on my channel. I recommend you check that out to see if you're interested in watching the film, which I highly recommend you do. That film's underrated. You don't normally see that kind of storytelling now. If it's serious film, it's well, it's it's actually hard to come by now to have a serious film unless it's an indie film, which is very um, I don't know unfortunate. Maybe it's just people don't. Maybe the mainstream theater just I don't know. They don't like the idea of having serious film. The Batman, which was you know a big budget film, is a serious action superhero film, and I loved it. I actually thought it was cool, even though it has some Hollywood tropes that I wish they didn't have in it. But no tears for the dead. Do check it out. It might be available on Netflix. If not, I think you can rent it on uh, YouTube. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about the film. If you have seen it, and let me know what is your favorite underrated movie.